News broke a few days ago, allegedly, from Manchester Metropolitan University that from the 31st of December 2022, Nigeria would withdraw the central bank from a discounted rate. What this means is it will be more difficult for students to pay their fees using an affordable payment method because after this implementation, the only payment option available would be the parallel payment market. This is an alternative method of transferring funds from Nigeria and the exchange rate used will be black market and not bank rate anymore. The big question though is, is this true or is this false? Well, the Central Bank of Nigeria responded to this allegation via the Director, Corporate Communications Department, Mr. Osita Onwasinobi, and faulted reports circulating in media suggesting that the payments of overseas tuition fees from Nigeria will cost more from January 2023 due to the purported withdrawal of the Form A discounted rate with effects from December 31, 2022. I wouldn't want to go deep into details as to what else the director said, but you can read more at Tribune Online NG. Who then should you believe? The CBN or the Manchester Metropolitan University? Well, from my personal experience, I would strongly advise you prepare for the worst when it comes to how erratic the Nigerian government can be with their policies. Here is why you should be worried. Just last year, TransferWise was working well in Nigeria. If you do not know what TransferWise is, this is a platform that helps in converting currencies for you using bank rates. You can convert from pounds to dollars or any currency you can think of, and at the same time, a bank account will be opened for you in the country you are trying to convert money to. Life was made easy. If you wanted to send Canadian dollars to someone, all you needed to do was upload the money you want to transfer and the bank account will be opened for you and you will make the transaction. No need to go to a physical bank or use Western Union. So all you needed to do was upload the equivalent of £20 into the app from your Nigerian debit card and your account will be opened in a few minutes and you can upload more money and send to whomever you want to send to around the world. Guess what? This same last year, around September 2021, you could still upload money with your Nigerian card onto the WISE app. Here is a friend of mine who just opened it, got his virtual debit card and was happy he no longer needed to get pounds through black market or worry that banks didn't have foreign currencies. Fast forward to November, he tried to open a US bank account on WISE app due to favorable exchange rates in order to send money to someone in the USA, but he was met with shock. The transaction was no longer going through. As someone who has connections everywhere, <laughs> I messaged my plug working with TransferWise and he told me Nigeria has been blocked and the excuse Wise was giving was there was a high rate of fraud. But he said the truth is CBN disabled transaction between Wise and Nigerian debit cards. So I decided to message TransferWise on Twitter to verify what the issue was and this was the message they sent me. They clearly stated I should check on my bank to see if there was any online banking restriction. In fact, there was and this was my confirmation because even as little as £5 was kept being declined to upload and this still happens till now. Comment below if you know any other cheap means of paying school fees aside from Flywire. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if it has been informative so far. Thank you. If you really want to have a seamless transaction with paying your school fees or doing any other form of transaction that you would want favorable exchange rates, there are two things I would advise you to do. Number one, do not put your eggs in the Nigerian government basket believing the central bank from a discounted rate would still be valid in the nearest future. Try and pay up your fees now, please. This is a brand new week. I need to be wise. Number two, if you're currently in the UK and are worried about your funding or you currently reside in Nigeria and are preparing to travel for your studies, you can register a company in the USA today right away and start an online business that will generate you the foreign currency you need to pay up your fees. In the first link in the description, there is a free training that would show you how you can start a dropshipping online business that will generate you over $8,000 monthly. You heard that right. Yes, $8,000. Before you frown on this, I want you to know that I am a Nigerian 
who opened a UK company while I was still a resident in Nigeria and this is proof. I opened my company in the UK without traveling out of the country or with the help of a company called First Formation. Now if you open a company through my link, you will get a heavy discount. But it is more favorable to open a company in the USA due to better tax laws. But this decision is totally up to you, either to open a business in the UK or to open a business in the USA. All I will do is provide you with all the necessary information for you to make informed decisions. A list of businesses you can start online when you have a registered company includes drop shipping, drop servicing, affiliate marketing, Amazon FBA, selling on Etsy or selling on Redbubble, print on demand stores for clothes, mugs, etc. The possibilities are endless. So you who are privileged to be outside the country currently should make use of this opportunity and register your company in the USA. I say USA rather than UK because as an international student in the UK, you are not allowed to run any form of business with your UK student visa, even if it is online, except you have a company registered. To register in the UK, you would need to apply for a change of visa status and this might be a complicated process for you, so it is easier to just register in the USA and you can open a TransferWise personal account which you would be paying yourself in dollars and the UK government won't be able to track your earnings because it is going into a US bank. And remember, you can get a debit card which you would use to do all your spending within the UK. So if at all you are interested in any form of online business, be it affiliate marketing, Amazon FBA, digital marketing or running a YouTube channel, make sure you register a company in the USA. The first link in the description will teach you about dropshipping after which you will be guided on how to open a registered USA company from whichever country you are currently living in. Also in the description, you will find other links that would show you how to start making money online and how you can collect your earnings in your Nigerian bank account. If you're looking for cheap universities to study in the UK, the link will pop up on the screen where you can watch a video of the top 7 cheapest schools you can attend so you can save more money. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If it has been very helpful to you, please share with your friends and don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to the channel as I will be releasing more helpful contents weekly that would make life easier for you. Thanks and goodbye.